yeah it's their purpose to ego originally yes the ego things get out of hand nature is always unfolding through trial and error nature makes mistakes not mistakes nature tries different things and some things don't work some things do work the brain is a new invention of the ego uh, sorry of um of life you know that mm. a brain didn't invent the brain something much higher and much more intelligent invented the brain <laughs> the brain mm. is some it's an you know it, it, it's it's an experiment. There are so many other forms of life that don't have brains and they're doing just fine on this planet. But let's not go into that. So eventually, mm -hmm. at some point, way, way back when we were closer to apes than we are today, we're not that far away from apes. But anyway, you have a... Um, where do I start with this? Nature has certain certain laws, not too many, but certain laws to keep everything balanced and, and working like an, a well-oiled engine. For instance, hypo, not even hypothetically, for instance, the speed of light. It, for a long time, that's been our uh, a speed limit out there. You can travel at many, many, many speeds and get to places faster and faster and faster. But if you overgo a certain speed, you start to go backwards in time. So what does that tell you? <laughs> Pull up around about here. Otherwise, you stop moving forward. So it, it's an indicator of when you're starting to go a little bit overboard with things. And life is full of that. Now, one of the inventions that life came up with was a self survival unit, just like a motor car today, when a car with all of the sensors in it gets too close to a human being, it'll pull up on its own, it'll stop hitting the gutters, because it's got sensors in the car, it can control itself. Therefore, it will as a vehicle, it's going to survive a lot longer. In the same way, the human body as a vehicle has all of these sensors. And one of them is a computer chip that we we call our thought process and that stops you from going into caves where there are you know wild bears that mm -hmm. are going to kill you it's going to stop you from putting your hand in a fire once you've done it once it's going to stop you from doing all the things that will kill you it, it's a thing to use in order to survive it understands that anything red is probably something you shouldn't really eat give it to someone else to try first <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that, <laughs> but that's what it's for. Now, eventually, yeah. as we've evolved, as life has evolved, um, most of the things that our brains used to warn us against, we've gotten rid of. <clears throat> we've gotten rid of all the predators out of our society, which isn't a good thing at the end of the day because predators are a necessary part of our evolution, the evolution of mm -hmm. life on this planet. And what's happened is we built a society to protect ourselves from predators. So now there's no societies where you're going to find wild wolves and bears and things running around down the main streets because they're dangerous things. We got rid of them all. So what mm. does nature do? It gave us our own predators within our own race. So now we've got a glut of serial killers. You know, there are predators. Mm. You can't muck around mm. with nature. It will always replace what you try and take away. I don't know how I got onto that, but that's the that's the yeah. processor. So over years and years and years, as we've gotten rid of all of these things that it, it was meant to keep us safe from, it now mm. became a little bit redundant. So mm. it took off on its own, and it's become an ego, and it's taken over the world. <laughs> and still, <clears throat> still kind of looking for that uh, tiger in the bushes, but yes, it, it's yes. Not, no longer yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, so it, if it can't find them, it'll come up with bullshit enemies. It does it all the time. Look at what the government does. Mm. As soon as we start, as people, as soon as we start getting a little bit cantankerous or a little bit upset or agitated, the government will give us something to be fearful of. And then we'll all go, yeah. ah, for about a month. And then the government will come and save us from the very creature it's given us. It will wage wars. It, it needs its predators. It needs to do what mm. it does. This is the ego. It's not us. Yeah, we wouldn't. You know, yeah, it need, wouldn't do needs this. to have the enemy to. Uh, it needs to have the enemy to define itself to to survive in a way. It seems Absolutely. like. Absolutely. 
and in in all of that evolution at some point we i don't know why oh probably religion came along and told us oh we are all the children of god we are so special therefore we probably can't put a foot wrong oh cool okay let's do anything we want to do then because why we're so special we can't put a foot wrong because we're the children of god and look at what that bullshit's done to the world today mm. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Well, so you in know, the... you go. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, was... this, is, this is just the melting pot that you come out of, you know. One of the most beautiful flowers in the world is a lotus, and you'll find lotuses growing out of piles of cow shit. How beautiful is that, you know? And what I mean by that is when you've had enough of this bullshit world the way it is, You will find a way out of it. And I'm not talking suicide. I'm talking about brave people. You will find a way out of it. You will find a back door. You will start searching deeper. Why is the world white mm. like this? It doesn't need to be like this. Why are we so assholey mm. to each other? What is the point mm. of that? Why do we do that? That's just disgusting. Yeah. You know, it's almost embarrassing yeah. to be a human creature these days. It's, um, it's definitely wants... one of my... Sorry. Uh, yeah, in, in my latest department, one of my bigger... Um, realizations, I would say, uh, yeah, how we treat each other. And uh, I did a video a few weeks ago on um, revenge. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. Uh, the title is uh, Let's Talk About Revenge. <laughs> it's my least popular video <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get one of the things you meditate on in, in the past is, is revenge. Actually, the, the final 48 hours when you sleep deprive yourself and really want to clean out, uh, you, you ask for cleaning out revenge as one of the core things. Um, and yeah, I just see it so much. And it's, it's very subtle, right? Like most of the world is fairly physically peaceful, at, at least. Um, but there's a lot of sort of passive aggressive revenge uh, tactics out there and, and, uh, yeah. Oh, it's become <laughs> such a part of human mentality. That they don't even know they're mm. doing it anymore. It's just become a part of what they are. You know, people, mm. everybody starts off loving. Everybody starts off playing with kids at school. Everybody loves to go to parties as kids at school. And then slowly, slowly, you start to, uh, out, out of the blue, someone will bop you on the end of a nose, a bigger kid, and, and it'll shock you. Mm. What? What? Mm. what was that for? Where the hell did that come from? Now suddenly you've got a fear that you've never known before. Another one of these creatures will bop you on the nose. And then someone else, as you grow up, people start to do bad things to each other. People start to insult each other. People start to get nasty with their words and their actions. And you, if you don't become the same yourself, you're in big trouble. And so people mm. just start to be nasty back. So you start off loving everyone and being in love with life and everyone in it. And then very quickly, mm. as you become a young adult, you, people start to dislike people. More and more every day, I start to hear people saying things like, I hate people. I don't want to be with people mm. anymore. I want to move away from people. If everyone in the world mm. does that, whew, yeah. where are they yeah. going to go? You see, it yeah. can't, can't go on like this. People have got to stop mm. hating each other. People have got to yeah. get back to the way they were when they were children. People have yeah. got to start just wanting to wake up and enjoy the world now. You know, take control of the world. Like, 